for to whom much is given, much is required. And I think a lot of them just don't look for tomorrow. Just because I'm a good preacher, just because I can hoop, just because I can exegete, just because I can do hermeneutics, just because I can go up and down the scale, read the introduction, read to the body and conclusion, and I can preach people into a coma, that doesn't mean that I can stand the test of time, because when you go past the black folk, uh oh, oh, excuse me, when you go past the, I'm a kind of people, they go try you, people sit under you just to try you. And see what you're really made of. See how much patience you lack. See how much endurance you have. Oh, glory to God. It's a sad thing, but it's true. People, not everybody that comes to church is coming for the right reason. Some come to your church and join your church with the intention to take your place and get you out the way. Ain't got no help in here. Hallelujah. Isn't it interesting how people can get so jealous sitting right in the church just because you got a position and a title? They don't understand that you paid blood, sweat, and tears to be who you are. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, I paid for this position. Hallelujah. They don't understand that young people, a lot of people don't understand that you got to serve before you be served. I wish I had one person in here. Oh, God. They looking to be served right away. They looking to get it all right away. I want my accolades now. Give me that big offering now. Raise me thousands of dollars at my first pastoral anniversary now. Oh, glory to God. It takes wisdom and perseverance to get to the place that this man has arrived. They look at him, they look at the clothes, the shoes, the car, and his longevity in ministry. But if he would get to tell a portion of his story, that's why when I got up, I said, you may see my glory, but you don't know my story. If you only knew what it took for me to stand up here, all the pressure that I've been under, all the things that I've gone through, if you understood why I have not fallen apart and why I have not uh, thrown in the tower, then you'll find out. I tell people, oh, if you train and switch places with me, you'll throw it all back right away because there's a lot of weight comes with being an apostle and Todd Obery and Apostle William Richard Harrell Jr. Uh, they look at us and they think and they perceive certain things the people can look at you and they pass judgment on what they perceive out of those eyelashes but they can't see a fly it was crawling on their nose they go to hit and hit themselves in the eye miss the fly oh glory to God look at your neighbor I'm about to get there I got to quit but before I flip look at your neighbor and tell your neighbors a neighbor don't misjudge me if you want to know who I am let's sit down and have brunch and lunch and learn who I really am let me share just a little passion concerning who I am and so when people look on you as these children looked on Elisha in the text here they begin to mock him instead of honoring him with his bald head they could have gave him 
garbage uh, to the man of God. Uh, isn't it interesting how people would come to church uh, and talk about you and ridicule you, uh, call you everything but a child of God. Uh, they'll pass rumors about you. Uh, they'll talk to the naysayers. Uh, they'll talk outside of the church and inside also. Uh, folks have got real dirty. Uh, Dirtiness in the church has owned the rise. That's why you got bold people that can sit right in the church and make fun of one another instead of praising you on and telling you to go ahead. They look at you funny. Look at you cross eyed and nudge the neighbor sitting next to you and tell them, say, look at them. Look at them, look at me. They think they something. Hallelujah. But why are they still there? If you don't like my ministry, get up and get to going. Go somewhere else. Go down the block to everything go tabernacle. Hallelujah. When they laughed at Elisha, talked about his bald head. They didn't know who they were messing with. Shake your neighbor's hand. I ain't got no voice. Shake the hand like you're going to shake it to the carpet. And say, neighbor. They tell us it's a neighbor. They mess with the wrong one. I got no help in here, sir. Hallelujah. Don't go by a person's stature. Because sometimes the shortest one in the bunch is the one packing the lethal blow. And don't go by the biggest one. Oh, God. Because folks will laugh. slow yeah. and he can't go yeah. but don't go by my side because I'm ready to drop on a pin wish I had a little help in here I'm trying to get to my conclusion but they laughed at him but he wasn't ready to take it the Bible said that he looked at the little children see let me tell you something the time that we're living in now that's why they got in the school system now oh scandalous because little children can walk with a weapon and just because they look little don't mean they ain't got something under something so that's why they got scandals in the school metal detectors they packing stuff oh god so if a little child do dirty and they look you in your face and say what you gonna do about it oh mother years ago was snapping five times before he could get up off the floor hallelujah but the system has been designed that no matter how bad they are don't you dare touch them if I burnt them I'll touch them hallelujah if they came from us they can go away from us the old daddy would say I raise you up and I'll take you out you don't know who you're messing with. So the Bible said that Elisha looked at the little children. Don't be fooled by little people. Don't be fooled by little children. Little children will rob you in the street. They'll rape you in the street. They'll form a gang. You think that the gang just started? The Bible said there were 40 children or better. So the game was back then. And that's what sometimes people.
people feel that the more they got in the click, the more that it intensified. The attack against the innocent. Well, I got news for you. When you see me coming through, don't you dare touch me. Hallelujah. Don't mess with me. I am a child of God. I am who I am. And the Bible says that Elijah looked at the children and did better eye. And he cursed them in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's why you got to do. It's got to be able to tell the devil you started a fire and I'm going to put it out. Yes. And when you mess with me, I'm going to bind you up. I'm going to rebuke you in the name of the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, there's something about the name of the Lord. I heard the Bible say that David declared the giant come with metal and armor and a sword. But I come in the name of the Lord. Yes, yes, they messed with the wrong one, they didn't see that I have a fourth man in the fire, yes, and he walks with me, and he talks to me, and he tells me that I'm his own, yes, and just It's about to change in your favor. Throw your fist in the air just like you don't care. And shout, yeah! They yeah. mess with the wrong one. Now, let me tell you something about day. There's a lot of things that falls under the head and under the category of day. Come on, now, Day can be sitting right beside you in the pew. Day can be standing by the door ushering. Day can be in the pulpit with you. Uniform. Can have on a collar. Dang. Let me tell you something. Your greatest enemies is the one that's in the house with you. Shot ya! Can I go down for a second? So the Bible says that Elisha looked at them. Now, let me tell you something that's interesting about when you look at a little child. Oftentimes, when you look at a little child this age, this size, it kind of like soften you up. I'm not going somewhere. It kind of like makes you feel, oh, you so cute. <laughs> Uh-huh. But a cute child no. can sometimes be the worst child. Yes, yes. Because one day, when they think they're cute, uh -huh. then they think they get away <laughs> with doing dirt. Yes. Come on. Cute kids, cute children. Cute. I got one of them. Cute. That, that's sad. I'm pretty. Huh. When a child said that I'm, they're pretty, they're bad. Yeah. And they're 
deceived because how they think or perceive they're being pretty means they're ugly personality ugly character ugly behavior ugly they just plain and simply ugly hallelujah can I be real but, but you got to be able as adults to look at a bad child and call him what he is and say you're a bad boy Elijah looked at the 40 some children and cursed all of them if you pick it bad enough to call me you in the name of the Lord. Yes. 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 And when he cursed him, the Bible said yes. that repercussion now has to set in. Yes. You can't just a child ago. That's why a lot of us got to watch what we say out of our mouth. Because once we release it, it's done. Hallelujah. So once he released the 